Hi guys, welcome back to Code Switch. Today we are going to look about the programming concepts in object oriented programming. Now you might have already know a lot of languages, many of them are object oriented. C sharp, JavaScript, Java, all these languages are object oriented programming. So object oriented programming concepts are divided into four main concepts. So let's see what all are these main concepts. These are common interview questions. So the first one is abstraction, second one encapsulation, third one inheritance and the last one polymorphism. Let's see what exactly is abstraction, right? Now the definition says abstraction shows only essential attributes and hides unnecessary information. Let's read it again. Abstraction shows only essential attributes and hide unnecessary information. What does that mean? Consider a remote control. Now you already have seen a remote, right? It contains a lot of complicated electronics inside that. Lot of complicated circuitries. But what you are seeing are few buttons exposed. That usable buttons, right? So whatever inside you may or may not be aware of. But whatever essentials, the essential buttons are exposed outside of the remote. This is called abstraction. A lot of items are put it inside and we are only showing the essential ones. Now let's take a different example. You want to launch a rocket. For this you are using a library that is created by somebody else. So as you know there is a lot of rocket science going on in the background. But whoever is using the library do not need to know about all these lot of internal workings of a rocket. Just have a peek around on the library. So if you look at the library rocket, so there is a class called rocket and it contains a lot of items like ignite A2 module, deoxidize the chamber and a lot of internal internal workings. But these are private functions. There is only one public item that is the launch. The others are restricted inside the class. Either they may be private or they are private fields, they are private functions. They are only contained in that class. And we are only making a public launch function. So somebody using that code or somebody using that library can simply call the launch method and, and that will do the needful operations. So here all the rocket science we are packed inside the class and we are only exposing the launch method or whatever that is specific or whatever that is useful for the user. Right. This is exactly called an abstraction. Now let's discuss about the encapsulation in OOP concepts. What does encapsulation mean? Let's read the definition. So encapsulation refers to the bundling of data with the methods that operates on the data. So what exactly that means? Bundling of data with the methods that operates on data. Take an example over here. Here I have a car and the car contains three properties. Color, seats and mileage. Right. But we may have other functions as well. So in object oriented programming, we can write like this. So we have the properties or the data and we can have the functions, both of them inside a same class. So the car class can contain a list of data and list of function that manages these properties or these fields or these data. The focus point here is we are encapsulating the data and the functions inside the car class. So that is what encapsulation means. Encapsulating data and encapsulating the functions that uses that data. Now let's have a look around the inheritance. What does inheritance means? Have a look at this. Let's read the definition. Inheritance is the procedure in which one class inherits the attributes and methods of another class. One class inherits the attributes and methods of another class. Have a look at this example. So we have a car. Okay. So this car is owned by the Tata company. And this Tata Motors has lot of cars. Right. So Tata has Tata Range Rover and Tata Jaguar. Now what's point over here? So if you represent this in an object oriented programming, you can represent it like this. So we have a base class called Tata. And that Tata class contains the company name Tata. And there are two other classes, the two cars, Range Rover and Jaguar. And the Range Rover is inheriting the Tata class. Jaguar is also inheriting the Tata class. But Range Rover has its own color, seats and mileage. Jaguar has its own color, seats and mileage. 
but both of them are inheriting tata class the parent class or the base class which means both of them will also get the company that is there on the base class now if somebody using that they can simply call range rover dot company and range jaguar dot company because this company property is actually coming from the base class because these two range rover and jaguar classes are inheriting that so this is called inheritance now have a look at polymorphism have a look at the definition polymorphism allows a specific function to exist in the same name while having different signatures there there can be many functions with the same name but only one condition they should have different signatures what does signature means if you take a function you can see there is a return type so here in this function int is the return type and you could also see there are two arguments passed to this function sum int a int b these are the arguments the return type and the function arguments together make the function signature so you can have the same name of functions with different signatures imagine a different scenario imagine that you want to find the area of a circle and a rectangle now normally you will create two functions one for circle one for rectangle right in the circle you pass a radius and it will put in the formula pi r square and you will get the area in the rectangle you pass the length and breadth it will find the multiplication of those to find you the area but if you have the polymorphism you can you can create the function in the same name means both the function name is area but their signatures are different if you look at both of these functions the return type is same the signature is made up of return type and the arguments let's also see some other examples as well here the first function the return type is double and the attribute is there is a single attribute that is an integer in the second one the return type has changed the return type has changed to integer and the same attributes so these two functions can coexist look at the third function here the return type is same that is integer and the number of attributes are also same but the type of the attributes are different in the second function it is int radius so the signatures are different and these two functions can coexist here all these function names are area but all of their signatures are different so that's all about polymorphism so these are the four fundamental concepts of object oriented programming every programmer is expected to know about all the object oriented principles and the solid principles thank you so much